Hey, it's uh, Super Mario Fan uh, 39, and uh, right now today we're going to review Eight Friend Odds. I don't, I don't know what, but it's the hardest video game title of all time. Well, this game is especially just a RPG for Nintendo DS, and. Uh, well, it's about of a mysterious labyrinth which no, which is a, well, geez, the story is so weird here because, well, it's a pretty great game, but since the story is, since the game has the lack of story so uh, here's the map oops sorry about so here's I don't want to talk about but uh, the game itself is kind of great your mission is uh, to uh, to explore a dungeon, which is, uh, you know, very big, and uh, I will be only taking for some reason with the first floor in the game, since the other place in the game, floor in the game, haven't I completed yet? So there is some missions in the game, but later. There will be other missions. The game, you actually draw your map in the right section how you draw the map, but in the right way. And here's the boss, here's is the enemy battle star. There's attack, defense, skills, items, boost, but, and escape. Well, for skill, you actually can take down enemies very fast. But since it's, it's the game's kind of crazy, so the gameplay itself is, is, is uh, you know, it is really looking to be the style of a classic RPG games so, but uh, ever since I said brought the game for last month so, so the game itself is pretty great so it's kind of great okay. and uh, well That's because the game is cool. I have to tell you, it's kind of a bit hard. But uh, the only way you know is this game pretty cool. Most of the fans really saying there's also a sequel called and there's also a sequel and the upcoming third game which will be available in Japan. The second game hasn't been released yet in in Europe, but I can say the first game is pretty great. So now I'm gonna need to talk to you guys about the class in the game. So there's well, since this game is kind of great. I'm not going to register another character. Hmm. Since this game is having just there's there's another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, there is a, so well since this game has so here many the first. Class is Landsnake, 
Lance, can, uh, can uh, this game having so weird names? Jeesh! Do you mean class worry with a weird class name? Here's her release. They are really great to end the uh, attacks very well in the other line. And uh, protector. They are in best is in the front line. Uh, and Dark Hunters, their skills are best used in the front. Medics, they use their healing gifts from the back. Gosh. Alchemists, yeah, Alchemists. Elementalists uh, who prefer the back. And the Brats, supporters about to work on Ethelai. God, I will be saying this, but this game even has two more classes, but has not been unlocked. Cannot unlock them yet. And uh, this is how I can say about this game. It has a strange title, and... Uh, oh! One thing. The box art itself. It is the Japanese box art. The same box art as in the Japanese version. Well, also there is the instruction book itself. So that's kind of lot of things, a lot of things. So it's kind of strange game, and uh, the artwork style looks pretty great. It's one of the most greatest uh, artwork styles I ever saw in an RPG before since uh, the Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. Gosh! That's all I have to say about this. How it... Everything i say. Say, oh gosh. This name, title, this is one of the most weird titles ever in my life. So, I give this game a... Uh, that's right, an 8 out of a 10. Well, since this game is a great to revival to classic RPGs like Dragon Quest, the Quest and other RPG titles, that's all I had to say about the game. Please subscribe.